Ooh, what's up guys? Nick the Informative Fisherman here on behalf of Monster Bass. And you should have got a mud minnow in your box by Savage Gear. In your box, just like that little Monster Bass box hiding over there. This right here is the Savage Gear mud minnow. It's a four and a half inch walk the dog style bait that's coming in just under an ounce, which means you can bomb it a country mile. I'm sure you have seen a ton of different lures that look just like this and you can cast them out there real far walk the dog i like to throw this on a minimal of 50 pound braid is it unsporting no i just like the zero stretch of braid and being able to hook them when i cast 120 feet away from me or if i'm stuck on the bank and i want to bomb it i want to be able to get the lure back and hoist that fish in i don't need to break my lure off and leave the fish with a permanent new nose ring swimming around the freaking lake i'm still a sportsman i'm getting them in i'm taking a picture and i'm letting them go <laughs> so anyhow Savage Gear makes these uh, mud minnows in very like translucent cool patterns. Now being heavy and having a feather on here, you can bomb it out there a long ways and you can walk it slower. And I'm going to tell you a little secret about the mud minnow for walking it slower. Slower, there's a feather on there. They see it working. You stop that bait. They analyze it. looks alive. You're going to get some eats with a feather. Um, translucent, when they're up there and they're analyzing that bait, they can't get a really good focal thing on it because... They're very clear, very natural looking bait. So they're going to eat it. Clear, natural, feather. What else does that mean? You can now walk the dog slower in place without them getting as good of a look. And you are going to get additional, additional eats on that mud minnow. Why'd they call it a mud minnow? I don't know. Uh, Could have called it a pearl minnow, a monkey minnow. Who knows? There's all sorts of names. But I'm going to show you something really cool. The weights are fixed in here. They don't knock back and forth but what they do go is side to side which means if you do a slow walk they're going to make some unique audio listen to this that's really cool so now when that bait walks it's going to gradually as it straightens out that weight's going to fall back into that chamber so when they're getting that subtle look it's going to go click 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 not a hard knock knock which is really cool so i find that working this walk the dog style bait is really really great moving slow when do i really start playing with these baits a ton uh right as soon as i start seeing bluegills on beds or the post spawn for the bass that's when they're going to move out near that heavy cover down on deeper rocks or suspend under boat docks and i want to draw them from a distance that's where that walk the dog motion draws bass from a distance the clearer the water you can draw them from a farther a distance um the dirtier water you want to fish it probably closer to weed lines or near boat docks uh, if that's an option for you or around shade lines i don't want you to ignore shade lines guys i don't care if it's 100 feet at the shade line of this tree and five feet up here on the bank bass don't care if there's a hundred feet below them that shade line could be sticking at 7 p.m in the evening could be 150 foot out in the middle of your pond or lake or wherever you're fishing fish the edge of that shade line with a walk the dog style bait like the mud minnow like this that you got in your monster tackle box and you will stroke some absolute donks i like to throw these walk the dog baits all the way through typically December when that water starts reaching mid 50s to low 50s that's probably when I'm gonna start looking for a more suspended or a more bottom style bait at that point but these things fish great all across the United States of America and you need to try your mud minnow I'm Nick the informative fisherman make sure you tackle boss you but you tackle no make sure you tag or tackle monster bass on all your posts guys thanks for watching